Let's move on to our second main topic today. Chris, what is our second main topic today? This is from Danny Andrews. The box office this weekend was completely dominated by It Chapter 2. Nothing else even made one-tenth of what it made. But it also made like 30 million less than It Chapter 1 did. So how do we look at this? Is It Chapter 2 a success or a disappointment? Thanks. How would you look at those numbers and how would you rate that movie? Yeah, it's always funny when you get a follow-up movie to something that was a not only a huge success, but a surprise huge success like It. It was wonderful. I loved that movie. You guys know I'm not all that thrilled with It Chapter 2. I didn't think It Chapter 2 was all that good. Uh, the first It, absolutely fantastic. So how do we look at these results? Well, okay. To put things back into perspective here, It Chapter 1 opened to $123.4 million, shattering all sorts of records. And then it went on in total to make $700 million, which, if I'm not mistaken, is the highest grossing horror film of all time, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken, uh, at $700.3 million. Fantastic. So now here comes It Chapter 2. With all the buzz about the first one, the fact that everybody loved it, all that kind of stuff, a lot of people thought it could open equally as big or maybe even bigger. Instead, it comes in at $91 million. That's over $30 million less than the first one. What does that mean for its worldwide total? We're not sure. We're going to have to wait and find out. So the question becomes, then is IT Chapter 2 a hit? Or is it a disappointment at the box office? I'm going to say this. You guys know I do not like this movie. I, I just I thought they dropped the ball on just too many different uh, things about it. But of course it's a hit. I don't care what IT Chapter 1 opened to. This thing opened to $91 million yeah. for an R-rated horror movie. Are you effing kidding me? Of course it's a hit. But John, uh, the first one only made, uh, made two hundred twenty-three. Yeah, I get that, <laughs> but that was a surprise. That 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 success in no way means this isn't equally success. I, I often equate it to this: Usain Bolt runs in a hundred-meter dash at the Olympics, wins the gold medal, and then he runs in the next go Olympics, wins the gold medal again. But it was a little bit slower than his last Olympics. I don't know, Usain Bolt, do you think this was a disappointing Olympics? What the F are you talking about? He won the gold medal. This thing's an R-rated horror movie that opened to $91 million. I don't even like this movie. I don't even like this movie. But you, like, you have to be showing extreme bias to try to look at this number and say, oh boy, did it chapter two not fulfill? Yes, it did. Now granted, the more important thing to me is, is the movie good or not? And I didn't think it was good. But that doesn't mean I'm going to put on some rose-colored glasses and goes, well, I'm going to now look for a way to say that it's opening. I wasn't. love that voice, by the way. <laughs> you should do so, more of that. I should, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anne doesn't like it so much. Um, <laughs> but, I, I mean, yes, $91 million opening is a hit. Is it as good as last one? No, but that thing was astronomical. It broke all the records and blah, 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 blah. That suddenly doesn't mean, look, you look at a movie, you need to judge it and its accomplishments on its own merits. Now, are there some people at Warner Brothers who maybe feel a little bit disappointed because maybe they were thinking it was going to make more? Okay, sure, but that doesn't change the fact this is an R-rated horror movie that opened at $91 million. It is a hit in the whole question of, is this a disappointment or a hit? No question to me, it's a hit. Rob, what do you think about it? Look, I couldn't agree with you more. And I think the, the factor is that you're discussing, I don't think this movie is as good as the first film was. The first film had the novelty of being out the gate first, obviously, and It Chapter 2 is bigger and bolder, but it's really the same, if that makes any sense. I mean, once again, you've got Pennywise, and of course, you, you see flashbacks to the, the scenes with the kids from the first movie. Way too many. Way too many, <laughs> and also, they're telling us things that, are, are really nothing new. Like, why didn't we get some of that information in the first movie? I mean, I get it, but it just seemed, it, it seemed to me to be over overstuffed, I guess, and overcooked. Um, and it, I mean, it looks good. I liked a lot of, there's some bonker stuff in here that I really, really enjoyed seeing. But when I was watching it, even I was like, okay, where's the new? You know, there's some interesting new gags and set pieces and Pennywise's Bill Stars Skarsgard is great. It's Bill Skarsgard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's great. And and I love but but enough. Like it's 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 six hours of this, five hours of this with the two movies. And I think 
I think once you get over that initial shock of of seeing a gigantic version of it as opposed to the TV miniseries version, it's just kind of more of the same, and it never it never reached a plateau where I was like, oh my god. So. Yeah, and again, I love the first one. Yep, I did. I was so excited for this one, whatever. But I, I still think all that notwithstanding, <laughs> this ninety-one million dollars, yeah, it's, it's gonna, success, it clearly is. And I've talked to a lot of people that have liked it a lot. You know. Yeah, and, yeah, me too, me too. Because I put up my initial reaction coming out of it, and saying, guys, I wanted to like this, but I, I just didn't. And I, I got a number of people who agreed with me, but also a lot of people saying, man, John, I really enjoyed it, which is great, which is. Perfect. That's great. That's the subjectivity of film. But the question here is, guys, what do you think about the opening weekend and box office performance of it? I think there's just no way to look at it but it being a hit, but maybe some of you yep. feel different. Jump down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. All right.